On this week's World of Saltwater Fishing, we'll have the shallow water mark off Marathon in the fabulous Florida Keys. Oh, nice man. Get that joker, man. Come on. I'll be with Captain Jeff Malone. Get a double going on here. Anybody can catch them one at a time, man. And we'll be seeking tarpon in the passes. Oh, oh a little bit of a deep oh, one nice. there. You got him? I got him. Good deal. That's a nicer fish. As well as up in the mangrove creeks. Oh, oh, it. oh boy, right there at the boat. Right by the boat, baby. <laughs> Check that wrap up. <laughs> nice job, man. Don't miss this exciting episode. <laughs>
you get with it. <laughs> That's a good thing, though, isn't it? No, yeah, oh, it's a great thing. Come on, September me? to Florida Keys. What's up, Mr. Fish? Oh, he's not ready Come here, yet. dude. What's up, Mr. Tarpon? That a beautiful fish. They're so magnificent looking. Awesome, Especially awesome, that, that size awesome. range. And... Come here, Mr. Tarpon. How are you, buddy? Uh, you gotta let him go. Yes. I'm ready for you. Awesome fish. So beautiful, beautiful huh? fish. Circle hook. That, that makes it, when you get a decent run and set on a circle hook, you feel confident they shouldn't throw it because of the circle. Perfect hook job. Nice job, my yeah, friend. Nice circle job. hook all the work on that. Beautiful fish. Magnificent beauty, isn't it? Yep, let's let him get bigger. What do you think? George Pofferobo's World of Saltwater Fishing is brought to you by Pen. Let the battle begin. Mako, the perfect predator. Bass Pro Shops at Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Mercury Marine, go boldly. We'll be right back. The Tarpon Bite Off Marathon in the Florida Keys is just beginning to heat up. Jeff Malone and I are aboard the Shallow Water Mark. Jeff said that these tarpon would be coming off the edges of the channel, and it was essential that he throws some of these life pilchards out that way for chum to get them going and try to bring them off the channel and behind the shallow water mark. Then all of a sudden you would see the boils. Then you would see the feeding going on. You'd see tarpon coming in. You'd see tarpon rolling. And you just knew that things were about ready to heat up. You on? Yeah. All right. Come on. I was wondering when the old master was going to get hooked up here. I mean, <laughs> come on. It's your backyard. <laughs> what you do. That's right. Nice what would tarpon. you say some of the subtleties are involved of, of doing this light tackle tarpon to, to get the strikes? I mean, obviously, you got to know where the fish are at, but to get the strikes and keep, keep them coming your way. You know, one of the most important tricks is just positioning the boat. Yeah. Because a lot of times the tide and the wind are not always cooperating together. Okay. So positioning yourself in a, in a manner that the boat sits and allows you to, you know, make your presentations is a really important part of it. Come here, Mr. Fish. Yeah, and then he said, just be careful the bull sharks around That's here. That's right. The bull sharks around here are not right. a joke. He paid back the favor now. <laughs> I got you back. It feels good. <laughs> Next best thing to jump into the swimming pool. <laughs> yeah, but we do need to be aware because there have been some serious bull sharks here that will. All right. So I'm not going to. Just make it quick. I'm, I plan on leaving the Florida Keys with my two hands and arms intact. Yeah, that'd be good. Sorry, Mr. Fish. Now, one more time here. No problem. Just a second. Careful now. Is he hooked in the bottom? If he's hooked in the he's bottom, like be very in the, be uh, careful. Yes, he is right there. About That's okay. Ready. You need to get my flyers on there. My you know, flyers are right I got them right here. I'm going to hit all this. Yeah, okay. no, no, you're not gonna clip them, right? No, no, Good. no, I'm just gonna unhook them. Hey, you might like let him free? Or you yeah, wanna try on, to let me try and get him here? Got him? I'll get him free. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, go you for ready? it. Yeah. Get the hook out. There you go. Now you're, you're free. There's your tarpon. Beautiful, Mr. I'm keeping fish. an eye for the sharks. You can door your tarpon. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful fish. Right, here man. he goes. Thank you, George. That was awesome, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> uh -huh. That's awesome. Good I'm stuff, going back man. in. I like to talk to you, but they're on, they're on a roll right now, and we need to be in there. Get a double going on here. Anybody can catch them one at a time, man. There's one right behind the boat, All right, 20 cool. feet. All right. All right, you want to trade place? I'll go to your outside. Sure. And, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight back. Yeah, get him back out there. Come on, Mr. Tarpon. Now, you're telling me, when we had a conversation before, that these are resident fish here? That's correct. They're here yeah. year-round. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, they find a little area that they like, and there's good food, good water flow. Yeah. Somewhere for them to get away from the predators, like the sharks or the yeah. big cudas. And, uh, there we go. Got him. That's a bug. A double up, double huh? Double downer. Oh, oh, a little bit of a beeper one nice. there. You got him? I got him. Good deal. That's a nicer fish. Uh, much better deal there, buddy. Perfect. Guy might have different ideas. He might take me for a walk around the boat. That's all right. You might be all by yourself. <laughs> I think I can handle it. Think you could. I think so. You've been at the game long enough. I'm going to try. Oh, oh mine's right try. here. He's coming. Oh, oh, and he spit it out. We're done. That's all right. That's all right. No problem. You got the best out of him. All right. Up you to you. Get bait back out there. Come on. OK. I got to handle it. I got to retie a hook then. Question for you, when you get a fish fish, when you got to stand up with a tarp and he's down there slugging it out, what are some of the tips to make sure to work out of it? It's really about the rod angle, but when he's straight up and down, yeah. 
the best thing you can do is really keep the rod low and try to use this section of the rod, the, the, the butt section. So when he's straight down, I just put as much heat as I can and try to lift short, you know, kind of short pumps. Gotcha. I don't really get much higher than this before I reel down and get another short, short pump out of him. Gotcha. Like I said, I got a handle on. Yes, you do. Here it comes. You got him in there. Almost. I jumped in the boat. That would have been pretty cool. I had the live well open. He would have come <laughs> right in here. Give him a perfect 10 he on the scorecard. He wants in there card. with the filters. Get me in there with the filters. Beautiful tarp. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Looks free. Pretty tarp. It is absolutely. You good? Those are like almost like the perfect wall mounts. See? Yeah, he's beautiful. Those are like the perfect old wall mounts. Yeah, I really enjoy catching. Had a double there for a little bit. Mine awesome. just frayed off on that lighter leader. Yeah, but what else are you going to do? You want to get a couple good jumps, pull them out, get a picture or something? But sure. The huh? jumps are the best part. The bite, the couple jumps. George Pofferomo's World of Saltwater Fishing is brought to you by Simred and the new MSS Evo 3 display. Go with Simred and go with confidence. Wrap on a coastal, another great day. Suffix, always use the best line. ACR, the leader in marine safety electronics. We'll be right back. As far as things to do off the water when you're in Marathon in the fabulous Florida Keys, uh, the Florida Keys Aquarium Encounters. This is a rather unique aquarium exhibition. Various touch tanks where you could sit and look at horseshoe crabs, rays, you can even feed some of the stingrays that are in here too. And it's unique in that in addition to some of the smaller exhibits in here, they have two large aquariums. One is uh, dedicated to the reef fish. It's a interactive type aquarium. You could actually snorkel, feed the fish, and there's a window to the second aquarium tank, which is a larger predator arena. Here you have sharks, cobia, groupers. A number of years ago, Captain Jimmy Gagliardini and I, we caught a big black grouper. So we put the grouper in the live well. The aquarium encounters crew came out, they took this grouper, put it in quarantine for a few months, and we named the grouper Ethan after my grandson. On this particular trip, I took the family, but the goal was to have my grandson Ethan and his father go into the snorkeling exhibition tank. And this was the first time actually snorkeling in such a situation. It was remarkable to watch the expressions on his face and to see that enjoyment. It was really remarkable. When you look at the Florida Keys Aquarium Encounters and what they have to offer, if you have some spare time in Marathon, make it a point to come down here. And I'll tell you what, you will not be disappointed. It is a rather remarkable facility. Oh, nice fish. <laughs> Get that joker, man. Come on. And I want to play off the bow a little bit. There you go. Beautiful fish. Nice work. I watch the anchor line in this one. I think that jump right there about put him out. Whoa. That one almost did you in. Yeah, he about got me in the face. Yeah. Fire in him. Beautiful. Amazing fish, huh? Awesome. He wasn't going anywhere with that. Perfect. Perfect nice deal. Release. Beautiful tarpon. Nice work, yes, it George. Is. All right. Awesome See you fish. later. Grow up, keep growing. So we enjoyed a, a very good bite with tarpon that would range anywhere from maybe 15 pounds up to maybe 30 pounds. It was very, very good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. But yet Jeff had another element of tarpon fishing that he wanted to show me. And I really wanted George to experience some uh, a little different type of tarpon fishing in a mangrove creek scenario where uh, the fish are a bit smaller, but uh, really aggressive, really fun. This would be more on the artificial side. We were looking at some of the Storm Soft plastics. We both decided on the Storm root beer colored shrimp. Naturally, George and I started out with a small rubber shrimp. As they kind of got used to it, or we had a lot of strikes on it, uh, George decided to tie on a small, hard plastic bait, which they were reacting to unbelievably well. He was really, you know, having a field day with the fish biting the lure literally right next to the boats. 
right by the boat there. He check that wrap up. <laughs> nice job. Man. Check that. They love it. Absolutely love it. They love that thing. Yeah, they... Already got him on a leader for legal. If he throws it, make my life easier. I'd rather get I'll the hooks out. I'll come grab him for you, George. Oh, that's right. Cheap. I'm going to play him. I'm enjoying this. I worked too hard for this one fish. All right, we'll play him up, then. I had this lure okay. two feet from the boat, if that, when out of the bottom comes a silver flash and engulfs it. I'm on a tarpon on that X-Wrap twitching mullet. This fish ate maybe a foot and a half right beneath me on the boat. Check that, huh? Beautiful, they love that wrapper. And sure enough, I put some silver in the air and had a blast with this fish, played it out. It was hooked perfectly in the upper lip, got it alongside the boat, took that lure out. What do you think it is? What a beautiful sight, isn't it? Oh my God, it's awesome. Here, let me give you a hand, George. I can at least hold the rod for you. Be careful of that second Yeah, absolutely. Hook. They think they're going to launch this the thing on us. are the most dangerous part they of the game. They are. Get him, get him, oh, on again. They can't resist the flashy flash. Beautiful job. He's going to launch any minute. That twitching mullet rappel is doing a trick back oh, here. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a great looking bait. Are you kidding me? Check that out. Look at the sun reflecting on that fish. Mm -hmm. Just a perfect fish. I was loving that twitching mullet. And what's remarkable about seeing tarpon, the juvenile tarpon in these creeks, is that this particular fish has the capability to grow to 150, 200 pounds. It's just amazing how these tarpon could get that large. And I couldn't help but uh, wonder, once I released that fish, would you come back down here another five, eight years and hook up with it again when it's 140 pounds? It's an amazing fish in itself. George's Tackle Locker brought to you by King Sailfish, the pioneer of catch and release mounts. Visit kingsailfish.com. On this particular trip, we're using mostly the brand new Penn Spinfisher 6 reels. You might ask, well, what makes the Spinfisher 6 superior to all the other Penn reels in their lineup? Number one, it's their premium based reel. It's a top of the line reel that is built to take the rigors of saltwater fishing. For example, the reels feature Penn CNC gear technology. What that means is when you torque down on a heavy fish and you put torque and tension on a gear system, it's designed to stay in line and hold up and be smooth and offer longevity. In addition, the reels feature full metal bodies and side plates. Having a full metal body and side plate prevents any kind of slight torquing as what may happen with plastic body reels. With the gearing and a full metal body, the reels are set to take some of the most abusive environments and fights in the saltwater arena. The reels feature the AT100 drag system by Penn. These are carbon fiber washers that are fully sealed and housed in the spool. And the skirted spools are already braid ready with line capacity rings so you could see at three different levels what your line capacity is doing. The Spinfisher 6 reels come in sizes from 2500 all the way up to a whopping 10,500. And they also have live liner versions available now in sizes 2500, 4500, 6500 and 8500. They're the latest generation of pen reels and we put them to the work on the shallow water mark and especially aboard the Mark 6. Mercury Performance Stats Marathon Florida Keys inshore. Seas 1 to 2 feet. Power Mercury 225 horsepower 4 stroke outboard. Total miles traveled 50. Speed 42 miles per hour. Total fuel burned 24 gallons. George Pofaromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is brought to you by Starbright, professional grade boat care products. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Papa's Pilar Artesian Crafted Rum, never a spectator. King Sailfish, the pioneer of catch and release mounts. Visit kingsailfish.com. On this particular trip, we stayed at the Hyatt Ferro Blanco. This is an amazing complex. Everything is self-contained on this one property. That is, you've got your accommodations, you walk out back and there's the marina, the Ferro Blanco Marina, the fabled Ferro Blanco Marina, a lot of history here. Your boat's here, it's a full service marina, ice, fuel, water to wash your boat down at the end of the day, electric if you want to keep the batteries charged up. It has two outstanding restaurants 
And one in particular is the restaurant out by the bar. You could come off your boat, go to the outside bar, and have dinner right there. And after it's over with, go right up to your room and you know, get a few extra Z's out of the deal. If you want to step it up, go a little fancier. Their inside restaurant is absolutely sensational, great appetizers, just a good environment to have a classy dinner. You don't have to leave the property. Everything is self-contained. And during this particular trip with Jeff Malone, we were here for about three days and not once did I ever leave the property. I had a fabulous time fishing with George, so it was great to, to finally have an opportunity to, to get together and, and do some fishing together. So hopefully sometime in the future we'll get a chance to do it again. You just think back about the action that, that we enjoyed on this trip, and it just goes to prove one thing. Jeff Malone said, come down here in September, and we're gonna show you that the tarpon in the Florida Keys, don't take a break because the tourists aren't here. They're here in the Florida Keys just about year round, and they're always ready to play. And certainly, Jeff Malone did not disappoint. Follow George on social media. Visit georgepoveromo.com. On Facebook, facebook.com forward slash george.poveromo. On Instagram, at georgepoveromo. And watch his episodes on YouTube at georgepoveromo.tv.